Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Majelle, and for today's video, I am stressing the importance of thrift shopping. So I was kind of thinking and weighing in my mind what video I wanted to make today. And I wanted to do a haul video, but I was thinking I want to stress the importance, especially with 2021 coming up, the pandemic that has made us really think about what we're purchasing and where we're purchasing from. And I did want to stress the importance of thrift shopping. I've always stressed the importance of thrift shopping in my videos, but I feel like now more than ever, even though a lot of the charity shops and thrift stores are currently closed, depending on if you were in lockdown right now when you're watching this video, of course that changes so often. So a lot of those are closed and I do want to talk about the different alternatives. I want to show you some pieces I've got from Depop. I run an Instagram thrift store, so like shameless plug here that those are great alternatives right now to just online shopping and supporting big corporations versus online shopping, being good for the environment um, by, by reusing clothes, and then supporting the little guy. I think that this video and a big theme I want for this video is to be more conscious with your purchases and it doesn't mean you're sacrificing things. It doesn't mean you're sacrificing getting that specific item that you want um, because guaranteed <laughs> if Pretty Little Thing made it, chances are some girl selling it on Depop. So I, I would way rather, and I hope this is the same for you, I'm not judging you if it's not, um, I hope that you would rather, that I would rather support a girl maybe paying her way through university who maybe just wants an extra money for like drinks with her roommates on Friday nights. Um, I would rather that money go to her than to go to Amazon. So um, recently for my purchases, I've been making a lot more purchases from Etsy, Depop, a Depop I always make purchases from, especially because a lot of my items for my own personal Instagram thrift store does originally come from Depop um, and charity shops. So they, I, I regularly get a bunch of stuff from a bunch of different people and it's great because then I support those people and then in turn I sell them and then get support from my customers back to my thrift store. So I just want to show you guys that you can get the most amazing, unique pieces from thrifting. That, like, that's a universal truth, you know? It's not mass marketed. Maybe at one point it was made and mass marketed and sold to a million people. I'm sorry, this is a long intro. But, at, you know, you're, you're gonna get something that is way more unique if you are buying thrifting. And I'll show you my very unique pieces that I've been able to get recently. And then, really, I hope at the end of the day this video inspires you to go Download Depop, Poshmark's another option, I know there's a million options, your Facebook marketplace, your local Instagram thrift store owner, um, or just really anything just to go out of your way to shop local, shop small, shop and have fun with unique purchases. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start the video by something I've been absolutely obsessed with. Um, I have been going out of my way searching for little silk dresses, um, mainly little silk 90s, like this one here, uh, which I'll try on in a second, and then this one I just happen to be wearing already for the video. I do have, uh, I do have to fix this one because a ribbon fell out of it and I've got to like weave it through and I just haven't done that yet, but I do have an absolute obsession with little satin dresses or little silk dresses, whatever they are made of. Um, especially because on Depop you're able to find and you're able to search and scroll through so many. I find thrift shopping, it's always a gem to look through the pajama aisle because a lot of people overlook the pajama aisle. So if you're in a charity shop and they have a pajama aisle, go in there because that's where all the good stuff is. But then again, I find apps like Depop, this is not sponsored by Depop, but Depop, you're welcome for this plug. <laughs> I find apps like Depop or Poshmark great because you can specifically search satin dresses and have it pull up instead of like, although there is something beautifully romantic about switching through everything and finding the hidden gems at thrift stores. These two are two examples of some awesome ones I've gotten really, really recently. I actually bought them with the intention to sell in my shop, but I don't, I, I don't think I can um, because I've fallen in love with them so much. So if you see one of these pop up, it just know it hurt me to put them up there. I'm still trying to figure out what way to show you the outfits best, um, but I just wanted to show it in my mirror because the lighting's really good today. So 
This is my mirror. This is my sick plant I got for five pounds at Little. And this is the nighty I'm showing you guys. Um, you can see where the other side of the ribbon needs to be underneath. I do have the ribbon, so I will fix this. Just didn't get around to it before filming this video. Um, and I love this. I literally, I tried this on and immediately told my roommate, I was like, do I not look like if they needed an outfit who wake the the innocent virgin girl up in the movie to sacrifice her, would it not just be this little nighty? And she's like, maybe has like a teddy bear and she's like, oh my God, my, don't kill me. It would literally be this, this dress. So that's why I love it. <laughs> And I haven't decided between the two which one is my favorite. I think I like the other one's fittedness better in the length. This one is a little bit short. Um, but I love, I love this pattern, guys. I like, it's so interesting. It feels so vintage. Like it's like these like big dramatic colors and these big dramatic prints put together. So I seriously, I love both of these, but I also got both of these for like, under five pounds each um, and could literally wear these every day. Catch me in the office, like, <laughs> I mean, no, but yeah, also, yes. <laughs> I'm kind of giving you a variety of things in this video simply because my wardrobe is a variety of statement pieces and that is exactly what you will see in the pile of things I've thrifted. So the next item I have here, I actually got it before I left Canada, um, it is this kind of a long, almost equestrian-esque blazer. It's got this like cool details on the back. Um, and I got it for $5, which by the way, I miss shopping in Canadian dollars because $5 hurts a little bit more, or hurts less than five pounds does. So yeah, this is the blazer. I think it's awesome. I haven't given it as much love as I should be giving it. Um, so I think I might wear this to work this week just because it's such a statement outfit to wear like a nice, look beautiful plum color. It goes great with my skin tone. Uh, blazer, so I will make sure to give her more love. Give her the love she deserves. You're gonna see the pile grow behind me, but that's okay. Ugh. The one thing about this, actually maybe it's Rip Boy. Oh, it is! Okay, um, so there is pockets. I was just about to complain about the lack of pockets. But we're okay, guys. I figured out that there was pockets in this. Um, I really just love the shape of this. I actually believe that this is a size large. I would usually take a size small in my tops, not my bottoms. Got that heavy pear-shaped body, so my bottoms are not a size small. Tops will be a size small. <laughs> um, but I actually think this is either a size medium or a size large. The brand is originally Jessica. I think this is awesome because it's it falls down to that length where I can actually wear this as a sort of like blazer dress. Um, it is very, you know, it's a short blazer dress, but it's a blazer dress nonetheless. So I really like the shape of this um, and I will absolutely be wearing it more this week. I actually think it took this video for me to look at this dress again, or this blazer again, and see it in a different eye. So I'm really glad I was able to try it on for this video and remind myself why I loved it so much. And just the color, guys, look at the color. Also, my balayage is growing out so much. Um, this is my natural hair right now. I've got my natural curls going on that are coming out so much more since I've been using Function of Beauty as a shampoo. Um, so I've got a lot more curl definition going on. Um, and then it, my balayage has grown out, so like by the time I got it, it I have, was way more blonde, and then my natural darker blonde is growing out. But anyways, <laughs> that whole explanation led to me saying that it, that color of like ashy blonde looks really good against this purple. The next one I'm gonna show you I got on Depop. Originally it's from Primark, and it is this giant, absolutely huge, oversized sweater. Um, didn't think I would need such warm clothes moving from a very, very cold country such as Canada to moving to Scotland. But there's probably a few people watching this being like, duh, Michelle, you're in Scotland. Of course it's cold. This wool thing, I, I love it. It's been perfect. It is a very different kind of cold here, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, so a very awesome cozy sweater like this can easily be lived in just because the when the rain comes and it's cold out it's like that deep chilled to the bone cold it's not the same canada sort of cold where you just layer up and you're okay it is the is the unavoidable cold okay can you see why i kept this can you see why i absolutely need this for the winter season oh my god it's huge oh i've got my heater on it's a little chilly filming so let me turn that off because it's kind of burning my leg. <laughs> so yeah, this is the sweater that I got off Depop. 
Um, it's sweater dress, I mean literally so long, so perfect. And if you ever get anything similar, then share it with me. Share me where you got it because, oh my god, this is amazing. I need more of them in my life. Oh, I'm falling over. <laughs> Another sweater I got is this sweater. Um, I do believe it was from H&M's more recent collection. Let me just show you it. So it's just this, this sort of, it's not a cropped sweater, but it's not like a long sweater. It's got these awesome pearl details on it and it's just like that what's awesome about this sweater though is that i only know it's h&m because i <laughs> i know the like tag but they have the tag cut out and the reason they have the tag cut out of this because the shop person was telling me as i was cashing through is that charity shops especially in the uk have this deal with um and it's like specific charity shops that have it so you, you might need to go searching for this but they have a deal with certain companies that if a company can't sell something and they're you know, they've, they've tried to put it on sale and it hasn't sold and they've just got like a bunch of stock left. They give it to charity items, but they cut the logo. So it's, so I got this for £12, which is pretty pricey for like a charity shop. Um, but it was brand new and it would have been like what, a H&M sweater, I don't know, 30, 40 pounds tops. Um, so I was able to get this brand new item, but from a charity shop. If not, it would have been just thrown into the trash. I guess that's what some stores do with the remaining stock, um, but instead I was able to buy it from my local charity shop. I live in Edinburgh, by the way, and every street has like a million charity shops and it's an absolute dream, so living, moving here was like the best decision I've ever made in my life. So, and not just because of the charity shops, but that does help. So for this one, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how the neck works because the buttons are on the flip side. So if I flip this over, then you just, you lose the buttons, but I feel like it looks better on this side because it's like a rolly neck. So I don't, I don't know. If anyone has something similar, please let me know. <laughs> but this is just the sweater. It's that like classic, oh, chilly, chilly cold day. I'm a Hallmark protagonist. Why? Why do I always look at an item of clothes and immediately identify it as a character in like a form of media I've seen? Like why am I like Hallmark protagonist? She works a lot, going back to her hometown. She's got that like designer luxury sweaters that are more like high-end looking. Um, and then she like eventually like starts wearing the like the raggedy knits, like the last one, the sweater that I tried on. And she's more like cozy because like it's like shows her character development. Uh, yeah, so that's how I see the sweater. Very, very cute. These jeans I also got thrifted a while back too. They are my absolute favorite pair of jeans. Um, and the brand doesn't exist anymore. They're straight from the 90s. So the day that these jeans break or rip, I am going to throw them a memorial and throw them a funeral because they've been my favorite thing since I lived in Sudbury, which was like five, six years ago. The next one, oh, I got from Depop. I believe the brand is actually Primark though. Yeah, so the brand's Primark on this. Um, it is your classic satin black midi dress. Another one I'm gonna try to wear this week to work. It may be more than a midi dress on me because I'm pretty short. I'm 5'2", so sometimes midi dresses become maxi dresses on my body type. So I'm really excited to wear this. It's just a classic, this like satin midi dress that you can like pair with different things to dress up or dress down depending on like what situation you're going to. So yeah, that's another one that I was able to get from Depop. I think I got it for like two pounds. The best thing about Depop is that it is not like like, I mean, yes, the prices are set, but you can negotiate different things, and if you're buying a bunch of items from someone, you are able to, like, negotiate the price, which is really awesome, so supporting people on Depop is always a good idea. Oh, yeah, I think I'm right in saying, um, I guess I'll sit down maybe and show you that this is a little bit past midi on my body. I am so short. It's actually something I struggle with <laughs> is being so short um, because so many fashion things are made for tall people. They're made for that like stick figure tall girl and I'm, I'm neither of those. <laughs> but, um, you know, I can still appreciate my body in, in something like this and I can still appreciate clothes. I still obviously love fashion even if it's not necessarily made for me can still claim it as my own because it's a free, like it's a form of expression but guys got this for so cheap so so just classic look at that i usually shy away from black but recently and i it's probably just cuz it's winter i've been really feeling wearing black lately um and i can usually kind of tell my moods if i wear a lot of black lately that maybe i'm feeling down but 
I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of vibing with it. It's more, I'm beginning to appreciate black as more of a classic, classy color and more like cool instead of like automatically associating it with negative emotions. So it's, I'm growing, I'm growing. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, besides that tangent, this is the dress. <laughs> oh yeah, and sticking with the black satin, I did get this top. I actually got it with the intention to sell, but it's another one that I bought with the intention to sell and was like, I've been looking for one of these forever, I should probably just keep it. It is one of the black satin tops with a high neck, but the thing is is that it's got this beautiful open back. Can't really tell on camera, but it's got this beautiful huge open back. You'll see it better when I try it on in a second. Just how absolutely glorious this top end is. And it's one of those subtle statement pieces, like it's black, it's satin, so your eyes don't immediately- well, satin, I guess your eyes immediately do. But it's just like classic, so you can wear this with like a really beautiful statement skirt, um, but it's like a basic, but in no way whatsoever a basic basic, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's like a classy basic or a statement basic. If you guys are keeping up with me, then congrats. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's a bit more of a statement piece than I was talking about. This is very like, very classy. Look, this is, this is, this is the mullet because this is literally the epitome of business in the front and party, let's see if I can get that in frame, party in the back. Cause like, are you kidding me? Look at that. I can't tell if my back looks good, am I flexing? Am I pushing my, ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh my God, like subtly beautiful and like showing, if you are uncomfortable with showing um, cleavage or if you're uncomfortable with showing like leg, so there's something very subtly, classily sexy about showing just a bit of back, you know? Baby, baby got back. Um, so yeah, I haven't worn this one out yet. Obviously it's winter and it's very chilly. Um, and the main places I go where I, I mean, it's locked down, but I am an essential worker because I help old people order food over the phone right now during lockdown. That is currently my temporary job. So it's, it's nice to look good at work, but I just don't think that this is a work appropriate because you know it's not like I see the old people but I do see all the people in my office and I don't know if I don't know if I can get away with all that back you know damn just check don't mind me I'll be here for the next hour checking myself out and then I'm gonna move into one of my favorite pieces I've ever thrifted I seriously look at this in love every time I look at it <laughs> And it is this satin robe. I wear it every single day when I shower, so it's it's gotten well loved. It's gotten a lot of love, it's well loved. There we go. It's this beautiful satin vintage robe. I, I really do think that this thing is super vintage. I even tried to Google the brand. It's called After Eight New York. Um, all of what showed up was After Eight Bars, so I believe that this was made before the After Eight Bars were ever even invented. But it's this like champagne, almost off-white color, satin robe. And then the details on it, oh my god, oh my god. Like it's like embroidered flowers and lace and it's so beautiful, the color is beautiful. It's like liquid gold um, and I seriously love it. I also, again, I bought this with the intention to sell and then I got home and I was like, what am I doing? This was one of the things that came from Canada with me. Um, as you guys know, I had to fit my life into two suitcases as someone who has a huge obsession with clothes. Uh, that was a very hard task, so I sold a, a lot of my my clothes. When I left, I gave a lot to my best friend Dakota, um, who probably really appreciated that. Actually, I know she really appreciated that. So yeah, I, I was very picky on what I took with me, and the fact that this came with me says a lot about how much I love it. Okay, nothing makes me feel prettier than like an old Hollywood-style glam. I... I don't know why, but in my mind, that is like peak pretty to me. That is, that is the epitome of beauty in my in my perception. And this gives me that old Hollywood style like like vision in my mind. You can see just by the oh my god, I know I showed you this again, but look at it on. Look at that embroidery. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, who is she? Yeah, no, seriously, I absolutely adore this. I think the color is perfect. I think in the sunlight or in the evening or in any weather, in any time of year, this is just the thing, the thing to wear. I love it. It's uh, a vintage piece being so unique is so, so why I go thrifting. Um, and this is it. This is that piece. Okay, next ones are the most 
beautiful statement pieces um starting with this one yeah it is a aviator jacket in bright red so super cool super warm and cozy as well too um got it for 10 pounds off depop which is insane which is absolutely insane it's like a 10 dollar coat um so it's got these awesome little details on it that you'll see more when i stand up and actually try it on the brand is warehouse which i'm not really sure what that is but it is a sick coat it is such a statement piece oh my god like i have to be ready to be looked at when I am wearing this out because this screams look at me and I'm okay with that. I, I do enjoy being looked at, so. All right, so I just threw on a little black dress underneath this coat just to give the coat the moment it deserves. Like I, I needed something muted underneath because guys, look at this. Look at the color of this. It's that like faux fur bright red, like it is, the epitome of a statement piece. It is that cool rocker girl. Sometimes I'm too scared to wear this because I am not a cool rocker girl. I am more like, I don't know, awkward girl. <laughs> oh my God, wow, quirky girl. <laughs> uh, but oh my God, this is just such that like, that statement piece for like Miley Cyrus's new album. If Miley Cyrus's new album was a piece of clothing, it would be this, it would be this. This paired with a mullet. And then I guess the last piece I'm gonna show you guys, maybe I'm saving the best for last. This Top Shop, is it Top Shop? Oh, it is a Top Shop coat. This statement coat from Top Shop, this retro piece that is so 1960s. Like I'm I love her so much. Um, I actually almost bought this coat at full price from ASOS last year. I was looking at it and um, Freddie, my love from YouTube, had mentioned this coat in her co coat videos, and I was like, I can't, I just can't justify like $150 for a coat, just can't do it. Moved here when I was trying to replenish my closet from a lot of things that I had to get rid of when I moved. I was like, I need, I need more coats, I only moved here with like one coat. And so this is how I ended up with my new best friend. <laughs> And it was 30 pounds, so instead of buying it at full price, I waited a season and was able to get it at like, like 30% of the cost. Don't do the math. And I'll try it on because you will see when I try it on how beautiful it is and how luxurious it is and why it's my favorite. I feel like this piece is important to show two ways. So first, I'm showing you it open, just like an open book, you know, who is she? But I haven't showed you guys the belt yet, so let's do this. Boom. Guys, look at that. Uh, oh my god. It is so 60s. Um, that's, I'm not the first person to realize that the fashion movement of the 60s, 70s, and 80s is extreme, and 90s and early 2000s. Really, it's just a very decades year coming for us. Um, and fashion wise, the 60s is one of my favorite. The 60s, the 50s, the 40s um, are my favorite silhouettes to play around in. But oh my god, and even the big lapels like on this coat, wow, I might wear this today. I might wear this out. My pockets are full because this is like my, one of my main everyday coats. I've got this and then I've got a classic black one that I wear every day. Seriously, this, uh, and it's very long on me. I, as I mentioned, is short, but it's kind of nice just how long and cozy it goes. Like it really, it really hits the top of my boots, but in the best way possible. Um, yeah, oh my god, the silhouette, this coat. This coat is a coat of dreams. I know I saw quite a few on Depop when I was looking um, that were also the same coat, priced maybe a little bit variance, but uh, yeah, so if you are looking for this coat, I do believe that finding it on Depop is not, it's not an impossible feat for you guys, or find it on Poshmark or one of the apps. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Like this video if you like this video, subscribe if you feel like subscribing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.